Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we are back with The Room 3. So in our initial episode, we were transported, teleported, or whatever you want to call it, into a mysterious island, beckoned forth from a person known as the Craftsman. Uh, we got a little bit into uh, what the island has to offer, and we are going to continue on with our task, so let's get to it. So yeah, we were working on this particular um, model, I guess you could say, and we got teleported up to a new, a new room. Uh, so the first thing that uh, looks out of the ordinary is this sort of diver's mask. So let's see what it's all about. Uh, we can also see. I don't know if we can actually go into the window there. I'm sure we can't. Uh, so let's just... Let's just do what we need to do here, shall we? I'm sure we can't get to that latch quite yet. I have a feeling we need... We need something. We need to unscrew this somehow. And it's not sort of giving us anything. I turned off hints, so, because I want to sort of make this a little bit more of a challenge for us here. Okay, doesn't seem like that's doing anything. Uh, well, we could just turn that. Okay, yep. We have something now. A rivet. How riveting. Oh, and we get a code up on the underside of that nameplate. I'm sure that won't be important for anything that we're going to happen across later. That'd be just silly talk. Uh, does anything along the color... Doesn't seem like we're zeroing in on anything, so let's go back here. No, I don't think the rivet would have gone there. We have to stick this into something. Not sure what yet, but I'm sure the answers will become obvious soon enough. Okay, we can almost get to the back side of this, but... Is that part of the code that was on there before? I don't recall. Let's go back down here. Oh, we need a... So that, that middle symbol almost looks like that, uh, that part. And yeah, it's not allowing us to sort of go... Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, we have some scratchies. Click. Hello, anyone in there? There isn't. But we have a metal acorn. And a switch. All sorts of nifty stuff. Oh, a um, wooden model piece. I guess we're continuing on with the model. Uh, but before we do, uh, it certainly looked like there was something here. Uh, does this turn around any? And it eh, doesn't seem like it is doing anything here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. Fair enough. And then we get some sort of key type. 
Does it go? Does not go in there. Would it go here by chance? Can't see how. Nope. We are still we are still looking for answers. I can't zero in on that side of the helmet. Uh, do -do -do -do. Uh, yeah, I didn't think the acorn would go there. It must go somewhere. Oh, what's over here? Nope. <laughs> Not quite. Okay, well... There we go. Yeah, I didn't think it went there. So... While I'm sort of scratching my head trying to think of where these pieces would go, let's go back to the model. Because at least there's going to be something else here. Uh, right, right here. So I believe this will go in there. Oh, it wants us to... Yep, yeah, there we go. And that'll open up, and I bet we get to go inside. Much like all these other puzzles, we get some sort of creature that we need to manipulate so that we get whatever puzzle piece it contains. So... Oh, there. Oh, <laughs> wings are out. Pull that back and switch. Erg. And pull. And we have ourselves a metal pointer. What could it all mean, though? No, I didn't think there would be anything left here to sort of look at, it's just to say, here's your next piece of the puzzle. Uh, anything else of interest on this? I might as well look at it with the lens just in case, but nope. Uh, so then what, the metal pointer, is that intended for the clock? No, because it just, all this does is have this open. So no, it's not meant for that. Uh, hmm. Did we miss? I'm sure we missed something here. Ah. Click. All right. Can we have another, another piece to enter? We got this the very last. Oh, hi. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, seriously, I'm going in models, within models, within models. I know I made this joke with the old sins, but modelception, seption, seption. Yeah, we have to sort of make this person let's go in and now this should be for the hand a little creepy artist wood model dude is gonna become a live boy uh, oh hi hi <laughs> Let me help you, sir. Oh, oh, oh. 
Model Inception, Inception, Inception! And just like that, we have more model. What do we have here? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think that would go on like that. Okay, so something's got to sit in there, I would imagine, and then it closes up and does whatever it do. Whatever it do. I don't know what it do, but it do it. Ah, okay. Well, fair enough. If the pointer is not meant for... Was there something left still on this that needed to be handled? I don't think so. Like I said, it hasn't been a while since I've seen or played this one. Uh, I don't... Oh, yeah, it might. It might, Rabbit, it might. Alright, well, at least we know where the acorn goes. Uh, but we need... We need something to go on this skull. Like an antler, which we do not have at the moment. Now, how does one go about getting an antler? I'm sure that's something we'll have to sort of wrangle with. But I don't think we're going to get it there. Uh, so let's... I don't think there's any other part of this room that we need to sort of zero in on. I think it's this diving helmet, so... Let's go here because the most obvious place where this would go would be here. Oh, now you want to do something, is it? Oh, I see. Okay, so it was that, that, and that. That was the code on the plate. Uh, okay, uh, copper tap. Uh, and I remember from down here, it had a little triangle head, and I saw that this has like a little triangle divot, so bingo bango. And come on, turn. <sighs> but all that means is that you turn, I guess, until they line up. Or... Something like that. Okay, fair enough. Now it's unlocked. So let's go here. We'll get you out of there, don't worry. Oh! That is nice. Hey, Mr. Smiley, what do you have there for us? A crystal f file. Fill! A crystal fill! All right. Anything? Nope. We'll get our thumbnail material and then carry on. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's zero out of there. I have a feeling I know where this crystal fill will go. Will you by chance go in here? Oh, don't tell me I'm wrong. Do you actually do something? Hmm. Nope, we just need to put you somewhere. 
and I thought here would have been the most logical solution, but I guess I was wrong. So, the question then is then, if not there, then where? No, not on the tower, thank you. We've already tried that. I wanted to go over here, thank you. There wasn't... Okay, yeah, that's... I was looking underneath the tower there, and I thought maybe that little square divot was something, but apparently it is not. Oh, geez. There was a drawer here this entire time. Ah, uh, <clears throat> it's some of those obvious ones that uh, just <laughs> befuddle me the most. Okay, we have our other antler, which is good. And then we have this, this other note. The rocks of this island have always had a taste for blood. This tenacious aquanaut thought his science would be proof against them. I hope his curiosity into my affairs is now satisfied. Like the cat, he is... <clears throat> I digress. Sincerely, love and kisses, the craftsman. Uh, okay, well... <laughs> enough of that so since we have the antler the obvious clue or solution for now is to go back into here and make that make that skull hole hello you now of course doing putting it on would be simple enough but it actually wants you to make it symmetrical so we will do that and one more twist. All you guys do is just put stuff into stuff, but yeah, at least now we know where this crystal fail will go. Smash. Ugh, it's bleeding. A glowing gemstone. Uh, okay. So, where does this go? Oh, does this go in that other part? I would think so. So let's go back out. Because I believe this is the lighthouse. Okay, so if it's a glowing gemstone, then yes, this all starts to make sense. So, yep. There's our lighthouse. Huh. An illuminated map. Lamp. And does this mean we have solved? Oh. Uh, okay, well... Are you suggesting that I hop into this sort of questionable elevator? Because I will. Here I go. Uh, okay, so... All aboard! Again, you're being very ominous. Ominous. Their game. For chunk. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we're going here now. All right. Let's see what we got. See, okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. So let's bring it around here. 
I'm sure some of these, okay, yeah, that moves that. So does that mean I can move and there? You know what? <laughs> it says it's there, so. ever I'm blind moment in, <laughs> in one of these games that would have been that point blank for uh, being uh, read by the lighthouse light yeah that would do it oh I just taking that triangle piece was not oh. oh I'm back here now chapter complete scaling the lighthouse was quite the feat Though its beam may illuminate troubles to come, they remain yours to shoulder. Yay! Well, you know what? I wanted to make these sort of um, episodes a little bit shorter, um, apart from the first one that was uh, long for sort of obvious reasons. I wanted to get things started and at least through the uh, tutorial bits and, and get into the game proper. But I think we'll call it there and we'll pick it up right uh, in the next episode. Uh, so uh, if you are enjoying The Room 3, then hit that like button, leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming, including continuing on with The Room. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.